Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is This Grand Life Strategy and Tactics, Episode 1. So, This Grand Life, I covered it a short while ago with the Pinstar plays, and I've, uh, I'll admit, I've, I've been kind of hooked on it. Hooked on it to the point where I decided to go for broke and uh, start working on some of the finer points, nuances, and strategies to this simple-looking, but not necessarily simple-playing game. Um, essentially, for those of you who uh, haven't seen the Pinstar plays, this grand life is like The Sims, but without the without the uh, the home building and 3D aspects and, and relationship aspects. It all focuses on independent living, uh, money management, investing, um, and that sort of thing while keeping up your character's needs. Um, but it's a lot more difficult than The Sims. If you've ever played The Sims and you've ever gotten your family to be super duper rich and it's kind of easy to do that, uh, yeah, this game is not as forgiving. But that being said, there are techniques that you can use to uh, well, help yourself do a little bit better. So we're going to demonstrate that and we're gonna be playing this game on the hardest setting possible with the highest aspiration possible. Let me to demonstrate. So we're going to uh, dive into a uh, custom game. At the moment, since this is still early access, there is only one city available. Uh, but there are five difficulty levels. Uh, the I was born um, response here. And this determines how many privilege points you get to start the game with. Privilege points can be used to purchase uh, positive traits and also starting being able to start the game with uh, certain amounts of education, which can help you out. However, we are going to be doing this on on the hardest setting. Yes, we were born behind a dumpster. And that means we start the game with negative eight pri uh, privilege points. The, the, the way we uh, deal with negative eight privilege points is that we actually have to take flaws that buy ourselves back up to zero. And then may and if we want any positives to come with that, yeah, we gotta take even more flaws to cover them. So it is not going to be easy. We're starting ourselves out with the uh, uh, hardest setting possible. As for our name, well, uh, let's go with the avatar first. Um, I think a, a good example of uh, a, a young lady here who's uh, seen better times would be her. Uh, and yeah, I know that could also be a dude, but um, the lack of facial hair and the presence of facial hair and all the other um, obviously masculine portraits generally points me out that this is probably a female. Um, but regardless, she's uh, she's not uh, not not doing so well. Uh, as for her name, well, I, let's see here, Nima Relicta. There we are. And of course, for our goals, we are gonna go with the hardest one possible, or rather the one furthest down on the lows. We need to be a millionaire. Now this does um, take a couple of the other aspects of the game uh, off the table. Uh, we don't need to hoard possessions. We don't need to uh, study uh, for and gain knowledge for knowledge's sake. And we don't need to do things that specifically increase our overall life happiness. Right now, our goal is the money. But this is probably one of the more difficult goals. Um, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, just being able to accumulate quite that much. I mean, that's the highest the game can go. Uh, as far as goals go, it can track more than a million dollars. Right then, now, for our traits. Again, we are at negative eight privilege points, and we cannot begin the game until we have uh, brought that up to at least zero. And then again, if we want anything positive, we have to buy it with more negatives. So we're going to be loading on the negatives here. Um, a couple of the traits that I've decided on here is uh, limited language. Finding a good job is much harder to do when you do not speak the local language well. So yeah, Nima, Nima speaks like the farmer from Hot Fuzz. You can barely understand her. Um, you know, needless to say, she probably was never taught to speak properly, having been born behind a dumpster. Um, also, she's an alcoholic. Yes, she, uh, she, she likes her, herself some booze. 
perhaps uh, not uh, really taught the best uh, nutritional uh, advice uh, go on there. Uh, needless to say, born behind the dumpster, you probably have a pessimistic outlook on life. Um, and needless to say, she probably doesn't have access to the best of health care, so she's got a weak immunity system. So there are four negative traits, um, and we've managed to buy up all the way past our uh, minus eight starting, and we actually have a couple of positive points to play with now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her the speed walker trait. Um, the traveling uh, between locations take 20% less time. This is a quiet and subtle, yet I think really effective positive trait, because you can't really replicate it any other way in game. Um, and yet uh, uh, it, 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 it does help over time. Like you, it's not noticeable, but uh, in the long run it is. Uh, as for our final one, we're going to say credit worthy. Now, why the heck does a born behind the dumpster person have really good credit? I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, maybe in the Equifax hack, uh, it was bank error in her favor and she wound up with a hacked 900 credit score. Uh, anyway, so that's our traits. That's our portrait. That's our goal. Let's get started. Okay, so we start out with, and, and all characters, regardless of the difficulty uh, level, start out like this. Start out with $1,000 in their pocket, homeless and unemployed. Um, now, people with much better traits can climb out of that really quickly. But Nima here, Nima's going to have a harder time with things. Thankfully, there's a few things at our disposal that, well, they're not too fussy about about traits and holy crap look at that economic growth that is really low I'll, I'll get more into economic growth but this could be this could prove a little hairy in the early game here with an economic growth because economic growth determines uh, um, job availability and we kind of need to get ourselves into a job like quickly uh, but first things before we get into a job we need to get ourselves into some dress clothes um, it might seem like a rather large purchase, uh, given our limited initial funds, but it is a worthwhile one because buying yourself some dress clothes will open up a lot of jobs out there that otherwise, um, would not take you in, but don't require advanced degrees or prior experience. Uh, so you can, it kind of widens the caliber of job you can get into if you're just willing to drop a couple hundred bucks on those dress clothes. Um, and you can, in good faith, to do that with your initial hundred dollars or thousand dollars now as far as um, our first job my ideal first job and I'm fingers crossed that it's actually available uh, is at the bar let's take a look fingers crossed uh, yeah no openings Two fewer jobs available due to traits, because we can't speak. Uh, and then one job's just not available due to competition, i.e. the economy is in the toilet right now. So that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, we might need to moonlight somewhere else until we can get ourselves into, uh, uh, well, where we want to go, ultimately speaking. Um, let's take another look here. Collector's Paradise, you got anything for me? A salesperson. Um, that's doable, uh, at least until we get, uh, get into what we want, what we really want. Uh, yeah, you know what, Let, I'm going to dive into being a salesperson just temporarily until we get the job that we really want. So let's submit and we are a salesperson. Now, um, as far as uh, working goes here, the name of the game of, well, this game is uh, getting yourself ahead in life, and that generally means accumulating funds. However, most things that cause you to accumulate funds will cause your needs to drop. As you can see here, if we work a 20-hour shift as a salesperson, oops, 
that causes not only 20 of hours of our week to pass, but it also causes our uh, needs to drop here. Now, working as a salesperson is actually not that bad. It's not that high of a stress. Uh, you can see that the fun is minus 1.0. That means we lose one point of fun for every hour that we work. We work 20 hours, we lose 20 points of fun, uh, but it's overall not that bad. And our hunger just drops naturally because of the time that passes. Um, now, to maintain your, um, your job at, with a full-time position, you need to work at least 40 hours per week. So we're going to do another round of salesperson here, but we're not going to go too crazy because, again, salesperson is not what we're ultimately after. Um, now, we, are, we seem to be a little bit peckish, and right now we don't really have the means to feed ourselves efficiently, nor do we have the money to really obtain that. So we need to slum it and uh, get some, eat somewhere cheap, uh, well, as cheap as possible. And generally the burger place is the place to go when you don't have the means to uh, feed yourself at home. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a burger meal uh, that not only refills our hunger, but also a little bit of our fun. Um, and whatnot. Also, uh, take note of the alcohol trait here. Yes, because we are an alcoholic, uh, we get this fun little bar here that non-alcoholics don't have to deal with. This will slowly deplete over time and make us very cranky if we do not get something to drink. Uh, but drinking alcohol, all that does for us is it lowers our health and re refills our alcohol trait. So it is a it is a overall negative trait. Now, as far as where we're going to live, since this is kind of the neighborhood we want to be chilling in in the early part of the game, we definitely want to go to Blacktown. There is another um, uh, minimum wage affordable place down here, Liverpool, uh, which is where I went, moved into for my uh, Pinstar place. But this place seems black. Uh, Blacktown seems to be a little bit closer to other things, and that means less travel time and thus more things available to you without burning up too much time. So we're going to go to Blacktown, find ourselves a home, and we're going to rent ourselves the one-bedroom apartment. The one nice thing about the uh, economy being in the toilet is the rents are really low. Uh, so we get ourselves the one-bedroom apartment. We have to pay the first month's rent uh, uh, right away. And now we have access to a bunch of other things. Showers and well, ordering pizzas is too expensive for what it does. Um, now, I guess what we could do is, since our needs are really high, we've got some time to kill. We could go back here and do another round or two uh, as a salesperson. Uh, what do we got here? 45. Yeah, let's let's do one more round as a salesperson. Oop, we're almost out. I'm going to try and get a little bit of fun left here with a bar fight. Now, this, and this is part of the reason why I want to actually work at the bar is the availability of this action right here, start bar fight. Um, it is in the, well, actually it's one of the best sources of fun in the game. You get eight points of fun per hour spent. It only costs you five hours. Um, so it is probably one of the most efficient ways of getting fun. Now, it doesn't have, it doesn't uh, give you that without its drawbacks. It not only drops your health faster than, well, most fun getting activities, but it also drops your hygiene like crazy amount. So you need to, you're going to be needing to get your health back up more often and taking more showers. So it's, it's supreme ability to give you fun is tempered with some downsides, but they're downsides I'm willing to deal with. All right. Um, sorry. So nothing happened here. Uh, one thing you want to avoid is you want to try to avoid having your ending the week with your fun below 50%. There is a chance, and the chance rises the closer it is to zero, uh, that your character will waste money on frivolous things uh, because they're so bored. Um, and that, that wasting of the money doesn't actually give you anything uh, positive. Like, it doesn't refill any of your fun. All right, let's uh, poke our heads back in the bar, see if there's a, um, a new job open. Every, every week, um, there, the chances for jobs to be available or not changes. So it does, um, it does uh, make it worth our while to uh, check on this every single week. Fast food cook. Uh, no, not, especially not those wages. Um, and two jobs not available due to competition. No. 
Uh, no. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue moonlighting as the salesperson, even though that's not our permanent job. But we will do some bar fights here to get our, uh, get our entertainment rocking here. Uh, let's, um, uh, let's do a little work in here. Now, our hunger's almost over, so rather than working another shift, what happens is if you let one of your um, other motives hit zero and you continue to do things that cause it to drop, instead of uh, chipping away at this motive like it normally would, it starts chipping away at your happiness. Now your happiness naturally sits at 50%. Um, and if it gets dropped below 50%, it will naturally climb itself back up to 50%. If you do something to make it go above it, it will naturally go, uh, back down to 50%. And actually our pessimist trait makes it go back to, go back down to 50% a lot faster. Um, but again, we're not worried too much about happiness, um, as far as keeping it above 50. Uh, there, even if you're not playing for lifetime happiness points, you want to keep it, you don't want it to get too low because then some really, really nasty end of week events can happen. Um, like you moping around your apartment all depressed and wasting like 30 hours, um, just because you're so sad. Um, it, you don't want it to get too low. And I think if you let it hit zero, that's a game over. Like, you just literally lose it. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Um, so um, let's go over here and eh, let's get two burger meals. Again, there's going to be a better ways to feed ourselves in the longer term once we can build up a little bit more money. Uh, and since we're down here, let's take ourselves a shower. Um, our health, as long as we keep our health above 50%, we're okay in that department. Um, so I, we don't need to worry about health just yet. So we're going to hit salesperson another couple of times. Um, and then let's, uh, since our fun is down low and we get, we basically get 40% fun every time we hit this start bar fight. So two bar fights will, uh, very efficiently get us back up to 100 fun, uh, with bio and only wasting 3% of the benefit, which is fine. Um, that's, that's perfectly fine. All said and done. Um, now let's, I guess we can eat again and I guess we can shower again. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Our alcohol is starting to get down there, but we can let that drop a little bit further before we do anything about it. Um... I want to get a little bit more money before I go uh, appliance shopping to deal with our food situation in a little bit more efficient thing. And maybe, cr fingers crossed, we get a 30% off coupon for electronics. That would make things a lot cheaper and easier for us. But once again, let's check the uh, bar for jobs. Uh, bartender. Better, but it's the... And it's due to traits, jeez. Um, it's, it's the third job that's possibly available in the, in here that we really, really want. And that's a uh, bouncer. Um, now there's a few things we can do, uh, with bartender since that's available. We can actually go and get our bartending license real quick. It only takes 40 hours, uh, costs only a little bit of money, but then that'll allow us to take uh, our bartending job here. And yes, I know bartender, uh, pays less than the, uh, um, uh, salesperson. Actually, it does, but the, the amount of, um, the amount of, um, of extra, um, efficiency you have by working in the same place that you have our fun here is worth it. That's why we wanted the job in the, um, in the place in the first place. Um, although, you know what? It still pays so much more and is so much less draining on our fun. So, you know what? I think I'm going to, we're going to stick with salesperson for the time being. Um, but we'll just keep on checking that place. Uh, so. There we go. I think that's doing nicely. And then at, at this point, well, let's pop over here and start a bar fight. And yes, I know we're out of, we're, we're almost out of hunger. Let's refill that hunger. And we need to work on our health now. Yeah, 46%. We do not want to take, uh, take a, uh, a medical bill to the face. Because uh, that's what happens if you're if you end your um, week with your health under uh, fifty percent, there's an increasing chance that you will have a medical bill due to illness, 
and those medical bills are not cheap. Um, and because of our weak immunity, we are at increased chances of getting that medical bill event if we end the week at uh, below 50%. So the way we dodge that is by making dang sure that we keep that health above 50% at the end of the week. So we're going to grab a shower because working out to, is going to uh, uh, tank our hygiene anyway. Uh, now, being that we don't have any kind of like exercise machines, the one place that the uh, garden level living person uh, will be able to get their health back up is at the park. Uh, go for a run. And we might as well just keep running until uh, the end of the week. But now we're at 83% health. No ill events. We've got our rent due coming. Um, oh yeah, managed subscriptions. We don't need the uh, lively living subscription here. Um, I will get into the financial dimes in due time. Um, but uh, not, not at the moment. And not to mention, we're going to have to be dealing with our alcoholic trait uh, in the in the near future here. So let's shower at home. Well, you know what? I think it might be high time that we... Well, one more day of working. Um, let's see if we can get our... Uh, nope. Due to competition instead of traits this time. So yeah, this is a little bit less efficient bouncing around here. Uh, 27. Yeah, I think we can, we can pull it off. Well, one more, just to give it one more day to see if we can get ourselves that coupon. There's no, it's completely random when you get one of the coupons, so you can't really hold out or strategize. Ooh, 60%. That's exactly one bar fight worth of entertainment required. Um, why don't we pre, pre get our, uh, health up? Uh, there's no real benefit to keeping it higher than that, but keeping it topped off uh, will allow us to, um, you know, have times where we're not having to deal with it. So we'll uh, shower at home. I guess we'll go for uh, go for some wings. All right, let's. Um, what I want to do is I want to work first and then go after uh, go shopping. Um, let's see if we have our bartender, a bouncer. Yes. I don't care if it's less money than our, uh, than our others. It's, it's, it's at the location here. Um, you know what? Well, I don't want to order a beer. We'll be dealing with that soon enough. There we've got, we've got some extra cash here. Let's go shopping. So we want a refrigerator and an oven. Boy, we are tanking our happiness here because of both alcohol and hunger. Uh, we'll be getting to that, but if I keep going shopping here, that's we're going to continue tanking here. Um, well, shoot. I guess we're going to have to do one more, one more round of that. Order a beer to top that off. Yeah, we might we might trigger a happiness ill event here, given how much we let our happiness drop. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna buy uh, groceries and a carton of beer. Okay, good. We dodged the negative event. Will uh, our happiness will slowly recover itself? So we got to make sure we don't lower it again. But now that we've bought both a refrigerator and oven and um, groceries and beer, we can take care of a lot more needs here at home. Um, now the uh, eat at home gives you um, gives you a good amount of hunger, but if you have the oven, it gives you even more. And what you do is you buy the groceries up front, and then you know basically picking at them and eating is free. Um, now they do go bad after four weeks, but you generally get your money's worth out of groceries compared to say eating out. And also you don't have the health drop of uh, eating out at the fast food place. Um, and then for alcohol, you can just drink at home, which is a lot cheaper overall. Now, unfortunately, it does drop our health when we do this. Uh, but uh, being that we're alcoholic at the moment, there's not much we can do about that. It also burns up a lot of time just chugging beers. Uh, let's go for a shower. And, uh, yeah. Back to the bar. Uh, two of those, a bar fight, one more bounce. Oh crap, I forgot about the hugger. Eat at home. 
All right, sometimes, yeah, these these things, these old, these events, these are just completely random. Um, but that actually, that helps us out, that plus five happiness. Um, all right, eat at home. How's our health? Our health is going to go down when we do bar fights, so let's go for a run a couple of times. Generally, if you're going to travel the park, you might as well get it up to, well, at least the next logical step. Uh, also, we don't want our uh, hygiene to bottom out, because that can sap happiness, too. Um, and you know what? We'll, we'll top off our hunger. Now, one thing is far... Now that we're a bouncer, obviously we're going to continue being a bouncer, no matter how bad the economy is. And in our next episode, I'll start talking about the economy uh, and some of the minutiae with that. Right now, we just need to get by. We just need to survive. Uh, before we start worrying about the economy at large. But one thing you can do is if you check the jobs again and you check your job, um, you can see if the economy is shifted enough for it to qualify you for a new, uh, a new pay rate. Now, it does take time to uh, negotiate a new salary. Uh, so if it's just a little piddling amount, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, 80 to 91 cents, not quite worth our time. So we will just work our job. Um, bar fight, bar fight. Ooh, more happiness, good for us. All right, and of course we've got our apartment uh, dues uh, going for us here. So I think we're, we we're off to a little bit of a shaky story. I've never seen the economic growth this low. Normally it starts between like 4% and 6%, um, and usually things are a lot more hopping then, but yeah, right now the economy is in the toilet. Uh, and and then, you know, it starts out randomly every time you play the game. That's not a function of uh, of our um, of us starting on hard mode because I've done practice runs on hard mode where it started out at six percent economic growth. And like I said, next episode I'll talk about the implications of that. But until then, uh, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.